Undercover police also posted ads seeking sex as part of the operation, so they just cover all their, um, what do you call it? Tracks? Uh, I think it's sex tracks, but yeah. Sex tracks, okay. <laughs> yeah, because sex, sex trafficking. trafficking. Oh, I see. Thank you. Tracking. Be sensitive, Bart. Sorry. Tracking. Who here loves Comic Con? Oh, Comic Con. Oh, I thought you were about to say something else. Yeah, I'm okay. You're about never to say been. Kamala. Never been. I want to say I love it. You don't you guys, can raise your hand. Did you guys go? You guys ever go? No. no. I've been to Comic Con. I've been to Zero, I think. I like when people dress up. I think that's cool. I have a so. core memory. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Take it. For Mike's birthday, uh, a couple of us from Kendra's, we got him a ticket to New York Comic Con, including ourselves to go with him because the creator of Naruto was there, Masashi Kishimoto. Wow. So we gave it to him for his birthday. We all flew out to New York. That's a cool gift. We Did he make up. a car? What's, what's, his, what's his name? Masashi Kishimoto. You made a car? No. He was the creator of Naruto. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Just stay silent for the rest of this video. Okay, my, 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 my. <laughs> but it was dope because if anybody's a fan of Naruto, like, this guy would literally, we people would, he would tell stories as he was like drawing on like an old school projector and it'd be projected on like the big screen. He would like draw original characters and stuff while he's telling stories like how he was inspired oh. to create them. It was <laughs> for all the Narutars out there. Oh, <laughs> sick thing to experience. And we dressed up as kids. This is right after ABDC. So like we were actually relevant. People kind of liked us. Were people like losing their <laughs> when they saw you guys? Honestly, yeah. And it was tight. That's it was tight. tight. Nobody knew who you were because you guys were masked. Days. Yeah, the glory days. <laughs> Everybody thought we were the job walk. Did you guys know who each other were though? No. Okay. <laughs> That's the biggest question. So, what's the story? No, so, uh, first of all, I have a brother. I know about Naruto because my brother loves this shit. What? So, Naruto. Uh, what did you, say, what'd you uh, call it, Steve? Naruto. Naruto. Um, <laughs> no, 14. So, what Anthony was just talking about with such joy is a sex trafficking ring. Wow. Oh, shit. Naruto is not oh, a sex trafficking oh, ring. Well. Correct him. No, where you went is a sex trafficking ring, and you should own it. I knew something you, was wrong with Comic Con. The state of New York is a sex trafficking ring? That's where no, you no, went. No. no. No, Miami. The convention. You need to check your facts before you no, put out these blanket shit. statements, all right? Florida. Nobody cares if we make blanket no statements about you. Okay? Nobody cares. You know, You're done with that. I thought yeah. someone told me yeah. Anime Expos. Yeah. They be getting down. Yeah, That's some band cap flute fuck. fucking freaks. They fuck. Yeah. I heard they be getting cosplayed and orgied and all that stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, Comic Con these days have a lot of good looking people. I heard you can't even get a paper towel ring for 300 miles. Wow. A paper for, towel? Yeah, the, 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 the cardboard in the middle of the paper towel. Can't get it for 300 miles because they use it for. They use it for swords. For swords. They use sex it for. Sex objects. Yeah. They use it for various <laughs> costuming. <laughs> Did you know? Tentacle. Tentacle. Every single time a major convention. Paper mache, dude. A major, like, convention, sports, something comes in town. All the hookers. It's like game night for them. Yeah. They come from all over to, yeah. like, convention cities, right? right? Dress like Misty from Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Gotta Ooh. catch us. Oh, that's their game. That's their whole game. But that I'm surprised that I like the ones Comic that dress like is like. <laughs> I like the ones that dress like Pokemon. Like, it's a new thing in Comic Con. Cause they be doing that shit like everything, shot show everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For this one, is it like minors too, or is it all adults and sex traffic? It is mostly, uh, yeah, sixteen year olds and stuff. Oh, it's underage. Yeah. yeah. Oh fuck. Fuck. Yeah, you yeah. see that? I've been telling people about. Comic -Con. What were you saying? I, I heard you were saying, just saying Trump, Trump, Trump. No, no, no. What I was saying about Comic Con, something sketchy about it. That's why I will never go to one for now. Why? Because there's too many adults that are into kid shit? No, I just didn't want to deal yeah, with that's, people. That might be a what are the details? Like, how, how are they uh, sex trafficking ring that just supports? So, um, law enforcement officers went undercover as sex buyers to identify and arrest traffickers and then find potential victims to help them. And then, yeah, it all kind of happened at the same time. Oh, so they, kind of, they were able to kind of rescue them. Exactly. And, and undercover pre Undercover police also posted ads seeking sex as part of the operation, so they just cover all their, um, what do you call it? Tracks? Uh, I think it's sex tracks, but yeah. Sex <laughs> tracks, okay. Yeah, because sex, sex trafficking. Oh, I see. Thank you. Tracking. Be sensitive, Bart. Sorry. Trackaking. So the comic book and pop culture event that concluded Sunday takes place at the San Diego Convention Center every summer, drawing over 100,000 people. One of the biggest things, too, about this is that I think feds even think they could get a bigger net if they did it somewhere else because San Diego 
It's pretty small. And you can't really get as many hotels as you... But isn't it close to, like, Mexico? So it's like maybe oh, yeah. a lot of the exactly. shit's coming. Don't be racist. But let's be real, right? Like, we just had the Super Bowl in Vegas, and, like, they were moving prostitutes oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all over the fucking place. And the NASCAR thing. It's international, though. Exactly. Like, yeah, it's, it's not just Latin. It's like... Exactly. Uh, it's just everything. the business, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can get anything you want. Exactly. So convention I think, I think centers. The, I think the jungle Asian. Yeah. 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 I think the problemo is just the, the kids. Because I think Clark County. The kids are the problem. I like how you say problem yeah. first. Well, because. I, I thought you said it was no problem. <laughs> no, no, because uh, I think Clark County, they're actually trying to push to make prostitution legal. So if they do, then all of them just become freelancers now. Oh. That's cool, but everyone's trying to protect the kids, so that's the problemo. <laughs> Stop, but you dude. kept saying it was no problemo. <laughs> when? Stop. Before we were hit record, you're like. <laughs> you can't be talking about the subject like I say problemo, dude. <laughs> no, I'm really glad I got a boy. <laughs> well, hell, of a, hell of a statement. I would have been such a strict dad. Go ahead. What is it? Boys can be slutted out too, dude. No, whoa, whoa, whoa! They try to recruit me in downtown LA. They did. Oh shit! They warned his mouth and butt. They try to recruit you. Look, I'm gonna be what in my, I'm gonna be in my kid's life. I promise you that. You swear? I swear on <laughs> promise. That. You swear promise on Trump? right now, dude. On Trump? Promise. Dude, I was at the toy district. <laughs> Buying shit for my eBay business. Back then I was bald. I had sunglasses on. It was a boy, hot like day. The boy district. And I was walking around and this black pimp oh, dude man. was like, I know a lot of men that'll pay a lot of money for a Latino boy like you. <laughs> and then I was like, like, I'm Japanese. I don't even know what to say, but he's scary and huge and shit. And at the same time, that's kind of flattering that he, he thinks I'm valuable. Like I never felt so validated. <laughs> Took off my glasses and I said, I'm Japanese! And I ran away. Do you want to be my mentor? <laughs> <laughs> huh? ah, it's like, I'm not Mexican, I'm Japanese. Do you think he's on LinkedIn? He's like, I'm doing a startup. <laughs> Joe's like, how'd you get in the business? Like, who'd you talk to? Right, inside you. Damn. Yeah, that's kind of crazy how in Comic-Con, they actually uh, targeted Comic Con like that. Yeah. Like so. Every you, well, it's about so time. So they 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 <laughs> caught the so gemstone one. You is could the have worst. found these sickos years ago. Yeah, the gemstone convention. Fuck, I'll be man. honest. I've been warning everybody about VidCon for years because I saw that shit up close and personal. Mm -hmm. where I'm like, no way. What'd you see? Yeah. Oh, just weird. Well, look. Anytime you see like middle-aged dudes talking to young wo yeah. women oh, yeah. who are way young. It's weird as fuck. And the, the idolatry is weird as fuck. So I'm like, this is weird and this should be like really looked at hard. And then, oh, every year you hear another story. Oh, this guy's a perp. This guy's a perp. This uh, guy's a perp. And it's like, well, no fucking shit. You can see it all in slow motion almost happening, but you never know. You can't just pull somebody aside and I know what you're doing. You don't know. But yeah. one particular year is very weird because there was a chick that I knew who was like, hey, this guy like asked for my number and I was like, this guy's like 27 years old. I was like, you're, how old are you? She was 20. But I was like, that's still strange to me because she looked like one of those young ones. Mm. But that's also fair game, right? 20, 20. It's fair game, but I will say this too. But she looked young. You look, like, young. She looked like 12. And I'll say this too. One of my best friends in the whole world, his name is Chad. Wild Clay. He's a good guy. But his wife looks like she's fucking 13 years old. <laughs> and he should go to jail. <laughs> Steve! <laughs> but she's like 30. He should go to federal prison. Steve, that's not Listen, not lock, him, lock him up, throw away the fucking key. <laughs> Forever, dude. But... She's just Asian, bro. That just happens, <laughs> right. You never know where it's gonna be, where it's gonna come from. You never know where the next hit's coming from. <laughs> Asian, yeah, girls, eyes. Look it. Asian girls can look anywhere from 13 to 40 and they're just you just don't know. That's what I'm saying. And but when they hit 55, they go to 78. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes jail first, then sort it out. <laughs> that's what I said. Keep them. What do you think is worse then? A chick that's 15 that looks 28, or a chick that's 28 that looks 15. So you mean white girls or Asian girls? <laughs> 28 looks 15. <laughs> that's weirder. That's, that's the real crime. Yeah, because that's a real crime. So, yeah, because what? Because you're putting your dick in it willfully. Understand she looks 15. No, no, no. I'm Subin would love this. <laughs> Wait, what? 
No, yeah, yeah. Which one's worse? No, a girl that's <laughs> biologically 15. That's worse. She looks 28. That's worse. Or the other one Correct. where she's biologically 28 that's but better. looks 15. That's, that's better, right? That's yeah. yeah, one's an actual law breaking yeah. thing. Right. One is one is humanly disgusting. Yeah. Because she looks like a child, but it's legal. Yeah. And then the other one is you could go to jail. One we should, but slightly understandable. One we should cut because you're the co-equal partner of this company, but we probably won't because we are stupid. <laughs> and the other one is completely fine. 